I'd been building up to it. We'd been doing Alpha. Uh, we'd finished Alpha by that point, but it, I'd been joining my Monday group for must have been oh, eight months or nine months. So we'd, I'd, you know, I th I'd, I'd reached a point in my early journey and I thought now's the right time I didn't want to just do it on a random Sunday I thought I'm going to make this commitment I want to do it uh, you know on a special day and it it was it was sitting in St Mary's Church and I just suddenly overcame felt overcome with you know just this feeling of um it's just a very strange feeling I know if anyone's felt that they've been moved by the Holy Spirit I think they would know that you can't describe it and for me it was that was the moment that was the turning point welcome to our faith conversations where we're talking to people from our local churches about how they came to know jesus and the difference he makes in their lives today i'm joined by lucy it's wonderful to have you with us you too nice to be here thank you so I understand um, you came to faith through Alpha. I did. Do you want to tell us a bit about that? Um, yeah, well, I, you know, throughout my life, I've, I suppose I've been to church, not regularly, not when I was younger. I went to Sunday school occasionally, you know, but I was never really introduced to being a Christian by anybody in particular. It just kind of happened. And so when we moved to Mega, I, I it kind of opened a few more doors for me and... Um, I've always been, I've always wanted to find out more about my faith, and it just so happened a lady from St Mary's in Mega said, "Would you like to come and join Alpha?" And um, it kind of went from there, really. But the first few weeks and months, I was still a little bit unsure, and you know, I needed to kind of find out for myself a bit more about my own faith. And um, you know, it, it was a good few months until I, I fully found I felt that Jesus with, was with me. Um, and I remember the one time it happened, it was a Maundy Thursday service and I'd made the decision that day to take my first communion. I'd never taken communion before and I felt the Holy Spirit with me and it kind of reaffirmed that, yes, I'm on the right path. So, um, yeah, if it wasn't really for Alpha, then I don't think I would have perhaps experienced that. It kind of opened up more doors than... I, you know, that I was really looking for in my life before and never had the chance to, so. So what kept you going through that? Because obviously it was a journey of a few, obviously Alpha's quite a long set. It is, and, yeah. You, know, you can easily drop off with it. Yeah, you? I think... Um, the, the friendship of the group, you know, we even now it's been three three or four years since we first started meeting and even during all the pandemic we've still managed to carry on. So I think it was the people that I was with doing Alpha that really kind of helped me get through, you know, and carry on because you get to a point in Alpha where, you know, that's the end. And then yeah. it's it's almost like, do you carry on and how do you carry on? You know, you don't quite know. Um, what do, do I do on my own? Do I do I find another group? And you know, we all decided as a group. You know, not everybody stayed, but we all decided that we'd try and carry on and start studying the Bible for ourselves, and you know, doing more of our own independent study as a group. So, and they, yeah, went from there really. Faith always works better together, doesn't it? That's it sort does. of what the church it is does. for. And you know, for me in particular. Um, Two years ago, I went through a period of about six months where three people very close to me, family and friends, passed away. And I look back now and I honestly don't think I could have dealt with it as, as I did without the support of the church and my my Monday Alpha group, as we, you know, as we kind of know each other as. But also my faith. I, you know, it really did help me. It was, you know, very close family and friends and unexpectedly passing away and through, you know, difficult situations. And if it wasn't for my faith and for my alpha group, I don't think I would have dealt with it as well as I think I did. So, mm. you know, just it really did help. Mm. Yeah, those, those difficult experiences in life, they can be make or break for your faith, can't oh, they? Oh, definitely. And and lean in or you, <clears throat> you walk away. You know, and the situations with the, the people who passed away, you know, it was all through illness. Um, and that, that is a hard kind of idea that, you know, how can God allow 
people to be ill and things like that and it is through no fault of their own and you know these things do happen and trying to reconcile yourself with that fact and but I mean the the people who one of the people who did pass away was a very close friend and her faith was so strong and even to the end she was you know she didn't begrudge you know I, she obviously was very poorly but she, for her her faith was still very important right till the end and you know that kind of gave me courage to think okay they're they're off to a better place yeah and I think that that was also helped me get through the difficult situations as well yeah no absolutely so what was so your, your moment of first, first having community, Maundy Thursday is quite the day to pick. Well, this sort is why. The day. I know. This is kind of why I, I you know, I'd, I'd been building up to it. We'd been doing Alpha. Uh, we'd finished Alpha by that point, but it, I'd been joining my Monday group for, must have been, oh, eight months or nine months. So, we'd, I'd, you know, I th- I'd, I'd reached a point in my early journey and I thought, now's the right time. I didn't want to just do it on a random Sunday. I thought... I'm going to make this commitment. I want to do it, uh, you know, on a special day. And it, it was. It was sitting in St. Mary's Church and I just suddenly overcame, felt overcome with, you know, just this feeling of... Um, it's just a very strange feeling. I know if anyone's felt that they've been moved by the Holy Spirit, I think they would know that you can't describe it. And for me, it was... That was the moment. That was the turning point really you know I think previously I'd been given the chance to find out more and that led to me becoming even more committed to my faith so no it was it was good (laughs) but um no I I I just I just feel that it's definitely helped the last few years I've really feel like I've started my journey I'm definitely nowhere near (laughs) the end of my journey I'm still learning more and you know want to find out more and hmm. yeah it's really important it's a, it's a lifelong I don't think any of us get to the end this side of heaven no there's it's, always something else there is, there is. <laughs> you know you you think oh I just learned that little bit or I just try and do that in, and change that part of my life and then from that point on you think but I can do more hmm. and I think it you know that's a good thing but you can just keep doing more and just find that little bit more to do and you know hopefully encourage others to feel the same and to live their lives, you know, in a similar way. So how, how have you found that journey of the last few years, those sort of little steps forwards? Um, well, challenging in some respects, you know, as I said, dealing with um, personal problems and things. But even during the, the, the pandemic and everything, it's, it's definitely helped keeping that constant I I found it very difficult not being able to go to church I mean I know you don't have to go to church to be a Christian you know every but for me part that's part of my journey is being able to worship together with people and I found that very difficult last Easter when you know it was the middle of the pandemic and I couldn't see people I'd walk past the church and it was closed and so I think you know it's at times over the last few years it's been difficult but you know then I've always thought but there is light at the end of the tunnel and we will get back to some kind of normality, mm. <laughs> you yes. know, sometime soon, hopefully, sooner rather than later. Yeah, no, absolutely, yeah. You know, and then there's um, feelings that, you know, I'd like my children to also know what it is to be a Christian and not just what they're taught in school or whatever, but to find it for themselves. And admittedly, they are very young still, but, you know, just not having that worry of, oh, we're going into a church and, you know, they just to feel welcome and to feel comfortable in the surroundings, really. But... um, it's always a joy to to see them on a Sunday. So <laughs> Not always to out. hear them sometimes. Oh, but. no, it's fine. I grew up in a church where the children made loads of noise yeah. and no one cared. It was, yeah. It's good. It's good I, nice. You know, I think um, within reason, you, yes, know, you don't yeah. necessarily you want them climbing the pews, but um, <laughs> you definitely want to make them feel welcome. Mm. And, you know, I, I do, I like them to feel that we go in there for a reason, you know, and we can enjoy our time there. And, you know, that's the, that's the future, really. It's trying to encourage more people. But, you know, thinking about how my journey has changed over the last few years, even at school, when I go to pick up the children, mm. um, 
there's been a few occasions where I wouldn't normally talk about my faith. You know, at the start of the journey, I was a little bit reluctant, you know, and I was like, oh, yeah, my Monday group, it's, uh, yeah, we, we have a nice meal and then we, we talk about, you know, Jesus and things like that. And I was a bit reluctant to talk about it to begin with. But actually, talk, opening up a bit more and having the courage to say, yes, this is what I, this is what I do. Um, I've discovered quite a few of the other parents in similar situations. You know, okay. they actually, they go to different churches or they've been on alpha courses or things like that. And it, it's, it just proves that, you know, if you've got the courage, you can encourage others or you can find like minds and, you know, hopefully it gives other people the courage to think, hmm, that might be something I want to do. Hmm. It brings others along it too. It does, it does. And it, it kind of makes, you know, there's there's one mum in particular, she, um, we both say we cannot wait for the day that we can sing in church again. Mm. You know, she, she, she just keeps talking about it. And, you know, it's one of our common, common wishes for the future that we can worship, you know, loudly and yes, <laughs> in, yeah. in, in song, not just, not just words. So, Singing such a key part of our faith. It's, yeah. It is. I mean, it's singing for me is when I'm sing, when when you hear me sing, it's like my husband knows that I'm obviously in a happy place. <laughs> and if I haven't been singing for a while, he knows that I'm perhaps not in such a happy place. So I I can't wait for that day. <laughs> yeah. No, me neither. I'm missing it. Definitely. It's, yeah. But no, it's um, it's been it's a good it's been a, a very interesting journey. And mm. I, you know, I long for it to continue and yes. see whichever way it takes me. Mm. You know, and I'm open to just to see where I. I always think, looking back now, I've always had the odd opportunity for to discover my own faith. I had a, a grandmother who, she was a very religious person, and the way she talked and the way her house had all these you know religious things and I always think she was there trying to guide me in that way but I never really picked up on the signs Mm. um and you know maybe she was a door that I never quite opened (laughs) to to discovering more but um yeah it's finding those doors and taking the opportunities I suppose and for we know she was faithfully praying for you and yes yeah Definitely. We, we, don't, we don't always know what God's up to until we look back, do we? And we see all those threads. And no, it's... Um, see how it's and it's, it, hindsight is a wonderful thing. Mm, you know, and you look back and you think, hmm, that happened for a reason, I think. <laughs> you know, I, just coming to Mago itself was a spur of the moment type decision. That okay. we, you know, we weren't looking to move to Wales at all. We moved from Oxfordshire. And we just happened to look at houses over in Wales instead of Bristol and lo and behold we we moved to Mega and I think you know it was definitely a door opening somewhere and it was a choice we made and it was definitely the right choice yeah and if we hadn't have done that then I wouldn't have met my friend who recently passed away and you know the time I had with her and when you start thinking of it like that it's yeah things Mm. happen for a reason so yeah start seeing God's hand in Definitely, in little little things all the time, you think, oh, okay, (laughs) Mm. which is good. It you know, it kind of makes you want to think to look for others and think, you know, that's a. There are points of your life which I'm sure you've experienced where you have to make a choice, and you know, one way or the other. And sometimes you think, what would it have been if I'd taken that other choice? But actually, the choice I made led to this happening. So, you've got to be grateful for that. So, yeah. So what would you say to someone who's, who's been listening to our conversation oh. now and perhaps they, they walk past one of our churches and they go, I might go in, I might not. Or they, they come to occasionally and they're not, you know, they want to find out more. They mm. want to explore, find out if there's more to it. I what what would you say to them? Have courage. And, okay. you know, it can be tricky if you go to a church and you don't know anybody or anything like that, you know, but don't just take, don't just do the one visit you know, go again and maybe find out if there's people there you know or, you know, get to know people better. Or And that also comes down to the, the congregation as well. I think we all need to have that openness about us to, um, you know, to find out more. But I think it's just have courage and don't, don't think that, mm, okay, this, 
I'm not sure about this. Give, give it time. You know, it's taken me a, a, quite a while to get to the point I am at now. And I think you just need to give yourself time. And, you know, we, we used to go to churches before and, it, you know, it was lovely, but we never had that kind of relationship with the people in the church. And I think that definitely helps. Mm. And, you know, just yeah, keep trying. And, you know, maybe you might go to a church and it isn't quite what you're looking for, then try somewhere different. And it's like anything in life, you know, you, I think you've just got to keep trying and see what works for you. And, yeah, have faith. <laughs> well, thank you. It's been really wonderful thank you. to chat with you. Thank you, Samuel.